question number 63 the wavelength of emitted radiation by electron the wavelength of emitted radiation by electron while tra transiting from one energy state of minus 15 electron to other energy state of minus 5 electron volt is how much okay so this goes works to the concept of 12th physics it's very simple see electrons will be at various energy levels this like one energy level this like another energy level assume okay so this higher energy level i'm assuming e2 lower energy level i'm assuming e1 so suppose an electron is there in the higher energy level it will make some transitions from it will jump from one level to other level when it jumps from one level to other level it will emit light if it is emitting light means definitely it will have some wavelength that light can be uv rays infrared rays you have studied in your 12th so this light will have certain wavelength so the formula is given by the change in the energy see this is the formula e2 minus e1 delta a is nothing but e2 minus e1 is nothing but hc by lambda this is nothing but planck's equation planck has told max planck has told this equation already so planck's equation we have studied many times in your intermediate and this is called planck's equation so e2 minus e1 is equal to hc by lambda so in to be more specific this hc is called planck's constant it's a constant it has some number and c is nothing but speed of a light 3 into 10 power 8 if you substitute this and if you multiply you're going to get the you're going and if you want the answer in electron volt the energy can be in joules energy can be in electron volts various units are there for energy so many people will remember this c expression because it it is a standard expression and many books will follow it and questions also directly asked from this question uh, from this formula the same question has been asked from in the isro 2016 also so change in energy is nothing but 12400 by wavelength h and c i multiplied and i got it as 12400 okay so in certain units it may not be in joules okay so delta e is nothing but 12400 by lambda make sure that you you can use this formula only you can use this formula only when the wavelength is in Armstrong's the wavelength is in Armstrong's and the energy should be in electron volts if the energy is in electron volts and wavelength in Armstrong's then the relationship between energy and wavelength is nothing but change in energy equal to 12400 by wavelength so what is an Armstrong you already studied in your class 9th or 10th one Armstrong is nothing but 10 power minus 8 centimeters this is same as 10 power minus 10 meters if you want you can remember for this question it is not necessary also because the, all the options are in Armstrong's only fine delta e is nothing but change in energy which is nothing but 12400 by wavelength now let us see this so now he is asking lambda he has given e1 and e2 e1 and e2 are given for us so lambda is nothing but 12400 by delta e this is nothing but 12400 by e2 minus e1 this is nothing new same simple question so e2 the it see electron is traveling from minus 15 electron volts to 5 electron volts to, mm, from one energy state to another oh sorry this is traveling from 5 to 15 okay higher energy state to lower energy state higher is minus 5 right minus 5 is greater than minus 15 so e2 minus e1 e2 indicates higher energy state so e2 is nothing but higher minus 15 minus 5 which is higher minus 5 so e2 is the this is higher this is lower you can call some people will write it as eh minus el which is nothing but higher energy minus lower energy higher is minus 5 minus lower energy is minus 15 so 12000 400 divided by minus 5 plus 15 it is nothing but plus 10 so 0 0 cancel directly you'll get 1240 if you remember this equation because in many exam many times you might have remembered right so if you know this expression you can answer this question in hardly in 5 to 10 seconds because 12400 by 10 because change in energy is minus 15 plus 5 so or anything change in energy plus 10 or minus 10 if you have that confusion doesn't matter wavelength is positive so 12400 by 10 it's nothing but 1240 how much time it took need no you need not put your pen on the paper also hardly takes 5 to 10 seconds so in this way you can solve this question it's a very simple question if you have still any queries post them in the comment box and try to get more info from this channel and subscribe the channel for getting more updates